Hi guys, here we are with another review, some figures for you, more Matchbox. These are the Africa Core figures set by Matchbox, released way back in 1976, so one year younger than me. <laughs> uh, 176 scale, lovely little set of figures. As I've said before, I do love Matchbox. If excuse the rattle as I roll this box over, because there's about 75 loose figures inside it. Typical Matchbox, uh, lovely artwork there again. This is done by Doug Post. Uh, I know Roy Huxley, uh, Ross Wardle and Ken Rush also worked on some of the Matchbox kits, but uh, I think mostly posted a lot of the uh, figure sets. So basically you have in the, the, the box itself, you get your sprues, you get your, your basic figures. As is usual with the Matchbox range, they're depicted on the side here. So you have a little range of figures here, they come with a surrendering 8th Army um, Looks like Highland Division chapter with his uh, Tamashanter on his head. Uh, nice little depiction of all the figures there. And there you get uh, Rommel himself and a couple of other guys from the, the range inside in the, the box there, which would be the kneeling uh, kneeling rifleman and the uh, standing shooting the MP40. We'll put a look at things here. On the other side, then, of course, as usual with Matchbox, you have some more illustrations of the figures that are contained within MG34 and a tripod, Mort crew, that kind of thing. Uh, color cord with color system on the back here. Lists all the usual uh, colors to be used, uh, all in the Humbro range. If you are using a, an old box of these guys, just be careful that the conversion charts online, just make sure you have the right colors because one or two of the colors have changed um, over time. Uh, very, very basic Africa core, kind of a pattern there for those lads. Nothing particularly spectacular. But they are lovely little figures, and when they're painted up, they really do look nice. Uh, they were also re-released by Revel in 2012, I think it was. 2014 was when the Africa core came out. But they had been releasing them for a year or two pr prior to that, part of the Matchbox range. Artwork in front of this, not as good as Doug Post's, I think, myself. Uh, computer rendered, looks a bit... No, nah, it's not great. But it still depicts the uh, the figures relatively accurately, uh, more so than some of the other uh, Ripple boxes. But again, they're in 176 scale. Um, let's see, you have a colour scheme on the back there as well. They denote all the uh, the Revel colour UV colour uh, paints to use there. And again, a rather unimaginative uh, colour scheme, just in the basic sand uh, camouflage pattern. The sprue itself, well, there's two sprues. You'll see there, medium consistency plastic, uh, not too much flash on these guys. I have seen some of the uh, reissues which uh, have a lot of flash, but uh, these aren't too bad in fairness. So, thumbs up there. You have all your various bits and pieces. You have your uh, officers, your NCOs, your basic riflemen with the Car 98. You have your uh, assistant gunners here for the uh, MG34. A couple of guys crawling. Another type of NCO there, some of the mortar crew, and the MG34 gunners down there at the bottom. So they look at the other side there. And nice detail on these. They always did have uh, some nice detail, the Matchbox guys, in fairness to them. Uh, let's see what else have we got here. The other sprue. Okay. The other sprue, yep. You get some uh, advancing infantrymen kind of crouched down. I always like those guys, actually. Uh, you get some uh, submachine gunners firing from the hip and some submachine gunners firing from the shoulder, which is a nice touch. Actually, interestingly enough, on the larger scale boxes, the one, what are they, 32 or thereabouts scale, they depict this figure on the back of the box, but uh, they didn't actually do that figure in that larger scale. Uh, what else have we got here? Guys throwing a hand grenade. Strange enough, Matchbox had a tendency, not always, but sometimes, to depict the guy throwing a grenade, but he didn't have a firearm. He could have had something strapped across his back, or he could have had something across his front, or something in a holster, but seemingly this guy just has grenades. Uh, we have a little mortar down here as well, standard matchbox mortar. Very small, uh, two-piece little thing. Not the most accurate, but you know, it depicts a mortar, and that's it really. Very straightforward. Nice little, uh, nice little spruce. So, let's have a look at some of the figures as they're painted up. Now, as you can see, they depict them in general basic sand camouflage pattern here slightly nicer uh, artwork here by Doug Post from the 70s uh, a little bit of shading and stuff going on there a little bit boring there but uh, let's just see how some of those turned out let's have a look at Rommel himself so here's Rommel 
I hope that focuses. Yeah, there you go. Wrong. Nice little pose. Um, I did a kind of a two-tone uniform. I used different uh, colors in a few of them. Uh, some of them that were off the uh, the Revel uh, 172 um, uh, color guide. So just incorporated a little bit of change in it. Uh, nice little holster there. Little belt. A little bit of a wash. I used the uh, Citadel Lunan oil over the basic Humbrol colors, uh, enamel colors, and it turned out okay. So that was Rommel. There's the aforementioned guy who was bereft of any armament other than a grenade. Everything turns out okay. A little bit of shading, looks fine. Uh, we have a rifleman here in short pants. Not sure how uh, common the short pants were in combat, but there you go. A uh, nice little NCO type, uh, maybe mortar crew guy, you know, pointing and directing fire. MG 34. But uh, assistant gunner, that focus is there, and NCO there. Always like that guy. It's a nice uh, action shot. Pretty good. Uh, mortar crew. I just base them on beer mats, chopped up. I think it works. You know, there's some of the uh, advancing guys. I love that figure actually. Nice crouch down pose. Guy running with the. Um, MP40, that was nice too. Now this guy is actually from the 8th Army kit, but I have him in with my Africa Corps guys there. So let's uh, look through at the um, various figures there. Good quality, Africa Corps, very very nice. One little thing with the sculpt is that the uh, webbing depicts two ammunition pouches on either side, whereas in reality there would have been three on either side, if you can see it there just on the waistline of that figure. Slight inaccuracies, nothing too uh, erroneous. Here's our NCO again. Really like that figure. Some lovely poses in this particular range. So, top marks to Revel for, or Revel if you like to pronounce it that way, for bringing back the uh, Matchbox range. All in all, lovely little set of figures. Couldn't fault them, um, as I say, so they're still available uh, by, from Revel. Uh, online, eBay and so forth. Uh, these were an eBay purchase also. So yeah, handy to get. Very, very straightforward and really boost your uh, your North African campaigns if you're uh, wargaming in, uh, in that region. Um, so that's basically it. They're, uh, they're quite a nice little set of figures. I have two battalions set up here for rapid fire, as you can see. And they have been based with uh, beer mats and some Hornby sand, which is... Uh, basically just a sand, a little bit of flock. Could also use them for a uh, Sicilian campaign or Italy or that. But generally, that's it. Matchbox, way to go. Love that stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. I've got a video coming up pretty soon. Over and out.